Okay, quest to get that 2,000 that I rage played away back. Last week was not a good week for me. Um, it's just really tired, and you know, it's things go like that sometimes. You all know how it is, so he's going to be castling queen side. I can only assume. Um, and I will just be trying to break up this center and maintain a bit of flexibility. Okay, go ahead and castle king side into this. And now, uh, what's the correct order? Take here first. Take here. Play my knight here. I'm not sure what the correct move order is. I think taking here. Uh, that looks wrong. I'm just going to come straight out and say that that looks wrong. Taking with the knight like that. So now if he takes my knight here, First, I have that Zwishan Zug, I think. If he takes my knight here, my queen is it, so I don't. But, now I can play c5. And the undermining of his center should be complete. Okay, so that doesn't do anything for him. Meaning, like, nothing he can use right now. So I can take here. Um, but I don't think that it's time for that. Maybe I just play up, get my bishop out along the diagonal, or maybe I just play my knight up, look for central squares with my knight, and allow my bishop to breathe a bit. Okay, so eyeing b5 a bit. Um, okay, my options are to either push or um, take. And normally I would capture because, you know, that whole speech I just gave on undermining his center. But, I think that his pawns over here become pretty weak. And this isolated pawn remains pretty weak. Okay, so now he's got this weakness that I can stack up on at some point. Maybe not right away, but at some point. Okay, so now I just have to decide how and what I want to pull this off. Or, what I want to pull off and how. That's how I really meant to phrase that. Um, so just getting an additional defender for the pawn. And he's trying to get additional attackers, of course. He would be kind of silly not to. So now I'm attacking here. He doesn't seem to want that. Can't say that I blame him. Okay, so now we continue the stack. I'm not, or sorry, he's not the only one who can put one piece on top of the other. And I'm going to have to start playing faster here. Uh, he could take there, I guess. Take there, and then take here. And, like, takes, takes. Queen, check. I don't know. That might have been dangerous stuff. But, he didn't. Can't nobody never say. Stuff. Um... 
So now play faster, play faster. That's what we do now. We play faster. So I don't get that bishop move. I really don't get that bishop move. Okay, that's a free pawn, isn't it? I take... Oh, I guess he takes here at the end or something. Ugh. It's not good. So if I take, he takes with the rook. I step down. And he has nothing left to take. With discovered check, except for this, but then I just move my queen and hopefully I'm not getting done over too badly. Okay, um, also an option. I think I just moved down. And I mean, that's a scary night. But scary isn't good enough to win a game. Massive time advantage is good enough to win a game, but just scary alone, if you understand my meaning. Okay, so now I'm on this pawn and this pawn. So, you know that there is still that weakness that I mentioned of his B pawn that doesn't go away just because my C pawn might fall. Okay, so now I can take here, and I can take here, I think. I don't see why I can't take here. I should probably see why I can't take here, but I don't. Okay. Now, does he actually have something, or can I just, like, move up? Okay, he doesn't have that at any point, and this checking square is covered. Can't move his bishop down. And his king is in a tight spot. I'm hitting his A pawn. And if he moves his queen, I might also have some shenanigans. Okay, so now my plan is just to not get mated, I guess. Um, okay, so I guess I'll go up here attacking his bishop. He's going to check. Probably, I assume. And this is a time game now. Um, okay, so we could come down there maybe. Let's go ahead and haul this all the way back. And that was actually a pretty bad move, I think. Okay. 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 And now he's here. Nope. Should have come down here with his rook, I think. Okay, so now we can do this. And this. And I guess that and that or something. I don't know. Okay. Okay, beat him on time. I'm sure that my position is better. 
found here. But I don't know how to take advantage of it with just 41 seconds left, it seems. Oh, no, no, about equal. Okay, it wants him to play queen e5. <laughs> and there's Ace Rook talking. If you don't know him, go subscribe to his YouTube channel. It is also a chess channel, and it is better than mine, so pro tip there. Um, and if anyone doesn't know what Blood Trail is, it is an emoticon on Twitch.tv, a streaming site. Okay, he says it went from minus six to zero to up half a pawn to minus one to, like, basically equal. So, where was it? Six. Right here. Right here. It was minus six. So, bishop takes e6. Okay. No. Takes. Now, knight g4. Of course. He can't come here. There's no check, and I'm just threatening knight f2. Simple stuff. Simple stuff indeed. And, like, if he goes queen f1, and just knight f2, king g1, knight d3, king h1, and then it says rook f2, but also sufficient maybe would just be that, and like yeah he takes, and here, it says rook c6. But I mean, there's no way that I'm worse here. Well, I mean, obviously. But then I messed up by missing that. Um, where's the back to main line? Okay. But I missed it. And here, just queen d2. I actually considered that, but I wanted to queen my a pawn, you know? <laughs> to queen my a pawn. Okay, apparently I missed something good there, too. But I mean, I wasn't worse, and from there on it was the time pressure. So that probably got my 2,000 back. Probably. Um, eh, okay, yeah, 2002. So I guess I'll stop recording there. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.